Hey guys, Nick here with Gear Nut and Matt from over at Life in the Taiga. It's a YouTube channel, you should check it out. Description box below. He tagged me in a video and he wanted to know, Gear Nut, what do you EDC, as, what knives do you EDC the most? Now, a lot of us gear junkies will have quite the collection of items that we everyday carry, right? You know, might even have leather pocket slips built for them. Um, but he got me wondering and questioning myself about actually gearing up what have you carried the most what have you used the most and what do you find yourself putting in your pockets 99 percent of the time or 90 percent of the time or 80 percent of the time so this is what it is so matt here we go we're gonna talk about three knives i limited it down to three but honestly i carry three knives every day on my days off i can't carry some of them at work, but that's a different story for another day. And uh, work carry is not my everyday carry. So that's work carry. So here we go. Everyday carry. Which knife do you think I actually carry the most? On my person, the most. It's, it's rather surprising. <laughs> it's rather surprising. It's actually the Leatherman Squirt PS4. <laughs> Now the reason that this is the most carried knife is because, well, technically it's a multi-tool, but the knife is accessible from the outside, so it's a knife multi-tool. But this thing sits on my keychain. That's why it's the most carried knife in my whole collection out of all of them. This thing gets the most carry time hands down. And I even take it to work with me. And it's a great little tool. You guys can see the wear on it. I use it all the time. I hate the chisel grind. Uh, the 420 little blade steels, not the greatest, but the, you know, it's just super compact, super easy to carry, and it's got a bunch of other features. So that is my most carried knife. Now, my most used knife that I carry is going to be the Benchmade 940-2. My wife got me this for Christmas. It's a fantastic EDC knife. It's super sleek and slender, so when you do put this into your pocket and you have to get your EDC light down at the bottom of your pocket, you can slide your hand past this in your pocket, grab your light and pull it back out and the clip's gonna hold it right where it is. It's not gonna be disturbed and I love it. I love how skinny it is. The next thing, if I'm out in the cold for a real long time and I have to pull this out and cut something, these handles do not hold the cold. It will be cool to the touch, but it's not like grabbing a freaking Leatherman that's been iced down by the weather, this thing is a lot more comfortable to hold and use and cut. You know, it deploys real easy. I can deploy it with gloves, without gloves. The access lock is freaking awesome. You know, um, the warranty. When I try to pick a EDC item, I look at the warranty and that plays a major decision on what I buy. That's why I buy a lot of Leathermans, and Benchmade's no different. They got a fantastic warranty. So <laughs> that's another little aspect. It's got a fantastic warranty. But the number one reason I carry the Benchmade 940-2, and it's my primary cutting tool, and this is super simple. I don't know why people don't think about this. It's because it's easy for me to resharpen. I can take and undo one screw, pull the blade out, so I don't even have to clean the inside of the knife out, and sharpen this on my wicked edge so fast it'll make your head spin, and it will be hair whittling sharp when I'm done. Um, I can even take off the thumb studs if I really want to change the angle, but I don't have to because this is set at 25 degrees. I've sharpened this knife enough on my wicked edge to have the degree memorized. And now when I look at buying a new knife or I look at carrying a knife, I look at how much am I going to use it and how much of a pain in the butt is it going to be to resharpen? Like this, little GEC. This is a number 54. This thing sucks to resharpen. <laughs> I know it's 1095, but the way the blade's set up, it sucks to resharpen. It gets fat down at the tip, it makes it look not right, so I don't like to carry it. But the Benchmade 940-2 it's super easy. I don't even have to measure. I can just set this spine down in my vise, clamp it down, and resharpen it, pull it back out, put some Benchmade lube on, put it back in, screw it all back in, and I'm done. I don't even have to take it out if I don't want to, but I usually take it out. 
just keeps the, the knife in a nicer condition. So that's the number one knife that I actually use. And you know me, gear nut, I'm always carrying a Leatherman and I'm always using it. And the last knife actually took me by surprise. It's a Leatherman. All right, we know this. You know this about gear nut. Gear nut is a freaking Leatherman fan. He's a fanatic, you know? I've got uh, Leatherman Charge Plus. I've got Leatherman Wave Plus. I've got the Leatherman Charge ALX that I modded. I've got two Charge TTIs. I've got the 300 over here. I've got rebars. I've got, <laughs> I've got all sorts of stuff. And for a long time, I was all about the Leatherman Charge TTI because it had the S30V blade steel. And within the last two weeks, probably three weeks, I haven't been carrying it. The S30V on the Benchmade took away the need and the want for the TTI. So that's cool, right? Kind of changed it up. Really has a different aspect on my channel. And what I found myself asking is, do I need 154CM? No, it's a backup knife. So now I have been carrying the Leatherman Wave Plus with that little 420 steel, and I'm totally happy. You know, it does shave down some height because the Leatherman Wave is a little bit thinner than these aluminum scaled and titanium scaled counterparts. It's got pretty much the same tool setup on it, and I find myself not using the knife blade on the Leatherman Wave Plus at all. <laughs> I just, I use the Benchmade. It's just a more enjoyable cutting experience, and it's nice to know I have a backup, but I don't really use it. So, <laughs> there it is. There's, there's my three knives that I EDC the most. The Leatherman Squirt PS4, because it fits on my keychain and really easy to use. It's got a great warranty. The Benchmade 940-2, because it's just a fun, good tool to use. It's got a great warranty. It's easy to sharpen. Um, if I lost it, I'd be pissed, but it's affordable enough I can replace it on all of these. And then the Leatherman Wave Plus, because I love the cutters. I love the, the sleekness, the compactness, the tools, the functionality throw it on my belt. I don't have to worry about it. So Matt, hope that answers your questions. Um, <laughs> viewers, comment section below, hit me up and let me know what I'm doing wrong. But I tell you what, these three little tools right here have simplified my life and made it extremely easy and enjoyable. You know, so if I had to offer any information, it would be think about resharpening your everyday carry knife. That should be one of the reasons that you buy or one of your purchasing reasons. The next one should be your warranty. Is that thing going to have any warranty? If something happens to it, you know, you want to give those companies with warranties your money because they actually stand behind their products. <laughs> and the other one is going to be in situations of cold or hot, is it going to be enjoyable to use? I mean, those three questions are what I ask myself now before I buy a knife. And I haven't been looking to buy a knife because these three have answered everything I've needed. That's not a tactical everyday carry, um, but it works for me. So comment section below, let me know what you guys think, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And don't forget to go check out Matt's channel. It's called Life in the Taiga. He does more expensive knives than I do. <laughs> He's got quite the collection. I'm a little bit jealous there, Matt. You got a pretty freaking awesome channel, and you got a pretty freaking awesome collection. So, um, his girlfriend Ashley actually does come on his channel and show some EDC, and she gives uh, her input as well. So it's really cool to see that. He also does some bushcrafting. It's a good channel. I would I would highly suggest you guys go check it out. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, Matt. This was a whole bunch of fun, and I learned something about myself thanks to you. So thumbs up, buddy, and I will check you guys later.